Today we're taking a look at the ProLogic L02 entry pad, and I've got it connected in this case to a spring bolt lock, but this could be any of our locks. And what we're going to take a look at is a scenario where I've changed the manager code from its default of 123456 to a new code. Let's say 654321, and the lock opens, right? So that's been changed. Let's assume I have a damaged entry pad. With a damaged entry pad, what's unique about our systems is you can disconnect the cable either from the lock or you can disconnect the cable from the back of the entry pad. So let's assume the safe is locked up. We've got a damaged entry pad. We have to, we can disconnect this cable from the, uh, the lock, uh, disconnect this cable from the entry pad simply by depressing this small uh, clip, retaining clip on the, uh, on the, the uh, socket here. So I can depress that and disconnect it. It's a four-pin cable with a little retaining clip. So now, let's just set this aside. Assume this is damaged. Let's set that aside. And now I take a new ProLogic L02 entry pad. And again, because I want to connect it to this cable that's coming out of my spindle hole of my safe, I can disconnect this cable from the entry pad. I've got a battery in it. I can connect the new cable to that entry pad. This is the cable that's coming out of the spindle hole of the safe. It's connected to my safe that's locked up. And now I can enter the code 654321 and what happens? It says invalid code. Now why is that? It says invalid code because the the entry pad has code program information default. It's inside the memory in the entry pad. This information is also inside the uh, memory of the lock body. So because this lock body previously used to open with 654321, and this entry pad doesn't recognize that, we have a mismatch between what's stored here and what's stored here, it doesn't allow you to open that lock with the, the existing code of 654321. So what you have to do is you have to do four things. You have to program the super code, whatever the super code is inside this lock, we have to program the encryption key. The encryption key is an algorithm number that allows you to uh, encrypt data between the lock and the entry pad. And then you have to program the recovery code. The recovery code inside this entry pad has to be the same as the recovery code that's been pre-programmed inside that lock body. The recovery code allows you to recover the system to factory default in a very secure manner but they have to be in the same in both uh, situations. And then the final thing is device ID. If this particular entry pad had a device ID number, which is like an IP address for our network connectable systems, you'd have to program the device ID as well so that it's the same here as it is here. The L02, we don't have device ID. It's always at its default. So I'd have to program, keep in mind, I call it the superfecta. You have to program the super code, the encryption key, the recovery code, and the device ID if it has one. Those four things would allow you then to communicate with this lock and then you could open it with the super code. So once I did that, I could now open it with a super code. In order to program those four things, I need to connect this lock, this entry pad, to another lock. It has to uh, be connected as a full system, entry pad and lock, in order to program those things. So, in order to gain access to this safe, I would have to pre-program all this information to gain access to the, uh, the locked up safe. So that's how you uh, go about um, replacing an entry pad, um, preparing it to be able just to communicate with the, uh, the lock body by entering those four pieces of information, and then you can go ahead and open it on the default codes. But until such time, you will continue to get an invalid code. And again, I enter six, five, four, three, two, one, and it says I'm an invalid code. Okay, so that's the logic that we've built inside our ProLogic system. Um, again, it's a digitally operated lock, and uh, code information is stored here, and it's stored in the entry pad as well. If you have a mismatch, it'll show as an invalid code, and it won't open for you. Good security.